In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Excel macro from scratch. It's a simple one, but it's a macro that will put you into full screen mode whenever you want it to. And this video is one in a series on creating Excel macros. Please check out the other macro videos as well. So step one is to go here to the quick access toolbar and click on this button here. And I'm going to go here to more commands. And at this point, I'm actually going to switch to customize the ribbon. And there's other ways to get here to customize the ribbon. But it's important that you have this option selected, developer. If developer doesn't have a check mark next to it, you need to do this step. You need to put that check mark in. And what I'm doing here is I'm customizing the ribbon. I'm adding an extra tab to the ribbon. You can see there are other optional tabs that I could add. But for the purposes of this video, developer is the one that you must have. So I'll click OK. Now that I have the developer tab, I can click on it here and look on the developer ribbon. I have a code group and there's some really exciting things you can do here in the code group. You can record a macro, which is really fun and pretty easy to do. I have a video specifically on that that I hope you'll watch. Or you can create and manage macros from scratch. And that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to click on Visual Basic to create a VBA macro. And VBA is Visual Basic for Applications. This is programming, but don't let that intimidate you. We're going to use a simple program. It's basically like a recipe or a magic spell, however you want to think about it. And I'm going to include the code for this in the description below the video. If you want to copy paste it in, you can do that. So you'll notice here in this project window in the upper left, it says VBA project Spanish animals quiz. That's the spreadsheet that I'm using. And it's got sheet one listed and it's also got this workbook listed. So where do I want this code to be stored? In the workbook itself, any sheet in the workbook or in one specific sheet? I think I'll just put it in the entire workbook. So any additional sheets that I add, it should work for. So I'm going to double click where it says this workbook and it brings up a space for me to type in the code that I'm going to use for this VBA macro. I'm going to start by typing in the word sub and here I'm basically naming a subroutine. I'll call this go full screen and then I'll put left and right parenthesis. I'll tap enter on the keyboard and then I'll type in application dot display and you'll notice as soon as I start typing display I get a pop-up with options that I can choose from. I'm going to browse down display full screen. That's what I want to do. So I'll double click on that and then I'll put equals space and then underscore and then I'll tap enter and then I'll type not space application dot display full screen. I'll tap enter and you'll see that Microsoft VBA in Excel has automatically put in end sub. So end subroutine. At this point, I can X out of it and I'm back in Excel and I can now go to my macros button and there's my macro and we can test it out. So with this macro selected, I'm going to click run and look, it takes me into full screen mode, which really might be a helpful thing to do in this case because this is a worksheet or a quiz that my students are going to take to help them practice the Spanish animal words. It's kind of helpful to go into full screen for this, I think. I'm going to tap escape on the keyboard to get out of full screen because I want you to see that there's a much better way to access that macro, much better than going here to the macros button. What we can do is set up our own button that when clicked will activate the macro. So I could go here to insert and I could insert a button that way. That's a great way to go. But as you can see, those buttons don't always look amazing. They're kind of plain. So in this video, I want to show you an alternative way to put buttons into your spreadsheets. I'm going to go to insert illustrations shapes and I'm going to draw out a button. Now you could use any of these shapes. It could be a star button, a triangle button, whatever, but I'm going to go with this rectangle button with rounded corners. So I clicked on it and now I'm going to click and drag on the screen to draw out my button. Now that it's drawn, I can go here to the shape format tab that appeared and I can choose the color scheme that I want to use, whatever I think looks good. And then I can double click on the shape and I'll type in full screen. Tap enter. My text is pretty big so I'm going to have to stretch out my button a little bit and or shrink the text. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. If I want to, I could even insert, let's say, an icon. I can go here to insert illustrations icons and I'll do a search for screen. Let's say this represents full screen. I'll click insert so I can add this icon to the button 
I'll shrink it down to a good size and put it right there on my button. Now to make this an actual button that will execute the macro, there's a couple of more steps we have to do. One would be I need to group the icon and the button together. So I clicked on the button. Now I'm gonna hold the control key and click also on the icon. With both selected, I can right click and choose group, group. Now that's all considered one thing. And at this point, I can right click on the button again and this time choose assign macro, which macro? How about this workbook, go full screen? I click OK. Now if I click away from the button, the full screen button is ready to be used. So let's say the students are ready to take this practice quiz. I of course need to clear out the correct answers, but at this point I can click full screen and the spreadsheet goes full screen and the students can begin working with this interactive worksheet or quiz. If I click full screen again, notice that it toggles out of full screen. So that's a nice feature as well. Now if you recall, I created this in this workbook, not just sheet one. So let's test that out. If I go down here to the lower left and click the plus sign to add a second sheet, I don't see my button, but if I go to macros, notice that the macro still does exist. All I would need to do is go back to sheet one, right click on my button to copy it, and then go to sheet two, right click to paste. Let's see if it works. I click and it goes full screen. I click again and it takes me out of full screen. So I hope you can see some potential here for using this simple Excel macro to create a full screen button. If you're interested in learning how I created this interactive worksheet or practice quiz, please watch my other video on that topic. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see links to those opportunities below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support my channel.